Hi you guys, it is Shirley and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we have my fiance who is out of the picture. Slide over, Jared. That's because you keep the way that you do it. Yeah. So this is Jared. He's been in one of my other videos. He does have a YouTube channel and the phone is shaking. He has a YouTube channel that he puts Gundams together. So I will link his stuff down below if you want to go and hang out with him, which you probably don't want to. But anyways... So, we are doing the Yum Box. We did this maybe in November, October, but I skipped a few months because Christmas was coming up and Black Friday and all other stuff. And to be honest, I was going to skip January, but then I forgot to skip it. So, it charged, my, mm. <laughs> it charged my account. So, you can get this box, which is the smaller box. It is $15.99 and you get about five or seven snacks. <laughs> you get five or seven snacks in it for $15.99 or you can get like the bigger boxes which has like more snacks and like full size products pretty much. But we always like the Yum Box because it's interesting to mm -hmm. try like different countries. But I don't know what this country is so we are going to go ahead and open it. So last time we did one, what was it? What was it? I don't remember. Sweden, maybe? No. Well, we did have, like, Chile. Was it Chile? We had a Spain. Mexican one. Or Spain. Yeah, we had yes, a Mexican one. I think it was Spain. But we didn't... Um, it was. <laughs> but we didn't film that because his sisters were all over, so they all wanted oh, us to yeah. try it. So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you in the front so y'all can have a sneak peek. Holy... Poland, huh? I don't know a lot of fun facts about Poland, do you? That just that Germany <laughs> occupied them during World War II. There you have it. There's a fact by Jared. Anyway, so Warsaw. I've heard of Warsaw. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is little cheat. You get to rate like the yummiest, the weirdest, the best, the worst, you know. And then you always get this little pamphlet that says Poland or whatever country you have that month. And then it gives you like games and then it'll tell you a little fact about the snacks. So here is what the snacks looks like, which is very packed. <laughs> All right. What do you want to try first? Let's close my eyes. I'm going to go under. Okay. So this is Dr. Jared... Gerard, mini cakes. Gerard. Gerard. <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> mini cakes. It's sponge cakes decorated. So this is what it looks like. Now, Jared, you open it, and I'm going to read a little fun fact about this for you guys. So all you do is just flip over, and here's a little summary for you guys. So I'm going to read it. I'm just going to do a summary. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Jared, you're shaking the table. Okay, show them what it is while I look at it. Okay, it is getting a taste of a long-time tradition in a brand new way. You see, the first Polish sponge cake recipe was documented. And let's see, it was documented in 1682 into the cookbook. You can try it if you want. Let's see, it has a super moist cake round filled with delicate cream and juicy apricot filling. And I really like apricot, so hopefully this is really good. Um, then the whole thing is topped with... Uh, with milk and white chocolate glaze. It's put together and you got a deliciously decked out sponge cake. Hmm. You like it? Yeah. Ooh. I like the filling. Mm -hmm. Very green. And it's cold. It's probably because it's been in the mailbox, but very good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Maybe a it's a little on the dry side. Yeah. So it's not as spongy. I guess sponge cake's supposed to be dry. I don't know. But anyway, so I would give that a five. Five will be good. All right, Jared. Next snack. Mmm. That's the candies. Candy? Yum bag. Okay, so it's a yum bag. So, Jared, you open it. And I'm going to find a fact about it. 
Let's see. What is it going to be? Oh. <laughs> Which one is it? Because <laughs> I don't know how to say any of these. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll be right back. So I can try to pronounce this thing. <laughs> okay, Jared. Oh, okay. So we have these little candies. I'm going to show y'all. So we have these that are wrapped. And then you have this, oh, milk looking thing. Is it going to focus? It was focusing on Jared's head. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to show you this because I have no idea how to pronounce it. So right here, that is what it is. I have no idea how to pronounce it, do you? No, I'm Pro not even going to so, Yeah. Let's not do it. But it is a cream fudge. <laughs> That's all I know. So it says, you're about to try Poland's most beloved candy, a cream fudge, which is the cow looking thing. That's the cream fudge. Turns out the best things are sometimes the simplest. Uh, it's made using three ingredients. Cream, butter, and sugar are whisked together thick, then poured into a sheet pan and cut into the candy signature rectangular shape. Okay. Oh, and then these are what this is called. You see? This is what it's called. So, this is chocolate candies with strawberry and black currant filling. You already ate? I thought we were just going to half it. Oh, my bad. I'm going <laughs> to eat this whole thing. I don't want to eat it. What does it taste like, Jared? Review. Are you going to get into the... It Phone into the phone. It tastes like a cow tail. What is that? You never had a cow tail before? No. Ooh, you know what it looks like? Jared, hide your face. Yeah. It has like caramel ooze. So, what's a cow tail? I don't know. Really? It tastes like whatever this thing is. I know what a cow tail is. If you know what a cow tail is, let me know down below because I have no idea and Jared won't tell me because he That's has no candy. idea either. It comes in the long stick thing. Oh! I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to try this one next. This is the chocolate candies with strawberry and black currant oh, filling. This is a hard candy. You'll be sucking on it in a while. Oh, is it? Mine's not hard. You sure? Oh, huh. It's really good. It kind of tastes like a um, chocolate-covered cherry from Christmas. Yeah. That's what it tastes like, you guys. So, Jared, hide your face again, as always, so you can see, <laughs> see what it looks like. Try and focus in, but... <laughs> Jared. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I give this a... I'll give it a four because it's kind of too sweet for me. Yeah. And this yeah. is a four too because this is really sweet. That filling's kind of tart. I do like tart though. Okay. So let's go with something salty. This is called Monster Munch. I have no idea if it's cheese or what. But sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds? Yeah. Well, that's what it potato says. Potato snack. Potato snack, you guys. <laughs> potato snack. Salted. All right, so this is salted potato snack, shaped like ghosts. It is. Let's see. Uh -huh. Cheese powder, paprika powder. There is potato stuffed dumplings, potato pancakes, pot mash. Okay, so that's just different potatoes that they eat. Monster Munch, which are light and airy crisp, perfect sprinkling of salt and ghoulishly fun shape. These potato crisps are nothing short of a natural treasure. In fact, when you pick up this product from its Polish factory, one of the workers smiled and said, the Americans are going, are getting the best of the best. Look at that fat tag. It says the energy that it gives you. The fat tag. Let me see. Energy. Oh, <laughs> so let's 
and try it, you guys. I'm super excited about this. This is actually turning out a really good one. Polish snacks. You know, that's one of like the forgotten countries. Because <laughs> I forgot that they existed. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Literally, ghost shaped chips. <laughs> You know what these taste like? Munch them. Munch yep. Them <laughs> those munching potato chips, those light airy potato chips that's like in a red floral bag. Mm-hmm. So good. But these are not as salty though. They're not, which is really good because the other ones that we like that's in America, salty. Salt. But they're like addicting. They are addicting. Good. I gave it a Probably the best snacks so far. Yep. For sure. Maybe I'll give it an eight. A solid eight, you guys. All right. Oh, so we only have three snacks left. Let's try. Let's try a salty again. That doesn't look salty. It looks like poppy seeds. I know, like a salty snack is what oh. I want. So these are pretty much looks like pretzels to me that has um, poppy seeds on it. So what does it say? Let's see. Pretzel sticks with poppy seeds. <laughs> Literally. Don't know what it's called. So I'm not going to butcher any names. So everybody, you know, it's fine. Let's Dinsky. see. I did ski. It's a poppy seed coated bread ring. Well, that's pretty much it, you guys. So, we're going to try these pretzels. <laughs> I mean, they're just pretzels, really. Wow, fun fact. Isn't that what they say something about if you eat too much poppy seed that you'll test positive on a drug test or something? So, they're poppy seeds or sesame seeds? I think it's poppy seeds. I think it's poppy seeds. How do I know this? Because, you know, got drug tested one time <laughs> at work. Just annual drug test. And then at um, scrub school. First day, we had to get drug test to make sure that, you know, we don't have drugs in our system in the school, class, whatever. So, fun fact about me, I have two drug screening in my whole life. Maybe three. I think two, though. So, Yep. Pretty good. Alright. Moving on to the next one. Alright, so we're going to pick a new one. Jerry Poles G. for Poland. Do you really like those? It's I okay. Mean, we, we do. I like pretzels, though. Yeah, we do like pretzels. Well, Jerry likes pretzels more than me, so. Alright. Whatever this is, it looks like it's chocolate-coated something. So this is what it is. It says dark chocolate coated vanilla marshmallows. You guys, the only time I eat marshmallows is when they're roasted and like black. <laughs> I'm just saying. She likes her marshmallows black. <laughs> Cheers, Jared. <laughs> what does this taste like? What's the chocolate covered marshmallow? The, oh, down the cookie owl. Right? They have more cho chocolate covered marshmallows down the cookie owl. It just has a a cookie layer in it. You know what I'm talking about? No. I ate it when I was younger. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know down below. Um, but I do have to say, this is like the best chocolate covered marshmallow candy that I've ever had, though. Because most of the time, the, um, it tastes stale. Huh. To me, this has I have had. this has been very famous since 1936. So I mean, I can believe it. Now, what? It's it's sweet to me though, but I will say it is better than this candy. Like this candy. Yeah, it's pretty better than this. That's one. the best candy that's in the thing so far to me. Yeah, and we still have one more box. So, all right, moving on. Last, last but not least. Last time. With. Very surprised. It's huge. Ta-da! 
hazelnut cream filled meringues dipped in dark chocolate. Mm. I don't eat a lot of meringue. <laughs> Neither does Jared. So, and it's in this big box, which I'm very surprised that they put this size box in this little box. You know what I'm saying? There's five cookies in here too. Huh. So it says cookies with creamy nut filling and dark chocolate drizzle. If you want to go ahead and open it, I'll just read the fun fact about it. Polish meringues are among the most delicate cookies in the world. Made with only whipped eggs, whites, and sugar. But despite their simple ingredients, these sweets are far from easy to make. The sugar and eggs must be combined very slowly, then whisk extremely rapidly to create an airy foam. Only when its perfect fluffiness is achieved can the foam be baked into the light, crispy cookie we know and love. So let's try it. Try it. Oh, that, oh. One, that one had an accident. <laughs> Look. This one broke, you guys. It was very sad. I'm gonna get one of these pretzels. Oh, wait. I, we're probably gonna finish eating these in those other chips. This one just bit the dust. I'll eat, I'll save this one. It's like. Oh, <laughs> you ready to eat the broken one? Go ahead. So I'm gonna get the normal one that actually looks right, so. What's the stuff that's up under it? That's the cookie. Did you grab the cookie or no? What's it? Is there another? No. Oh, I don't get it. I don't know what that is. Okay, you guys. So, this was on top. Okay. This one was up top. And then this was at the bottom. Like, looking like this. But I don't know if it's like... I don't get it. I don't think it broke because it's very clean at the bottom. I don't know. So, cheers. Let's try it. Last treat. Mm. Mm. Tastes like cardboard. <laughs> Just me, though. I don't, I don't like it. This is the same thing. Mm. I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Where's my water? Oh, there you are. We had to go for a second one because we're like... It's very light, though. Yes, it's very light and airy. And yeah, it like, kind of like melts in your mouth as soon as you bite into it. Yes. Until you get to the that chocolate cream filled, mm -hmm. and then it's just that. Would I eat it again? No. So, there's that. All right, so before we get done with this video, we're going to rank it like we always do because it gives us the... The little card. So, the recap. We got these pretzels. We had the meringue. The little ghost potato chips. What else? Candy. We got this candy. And then this other caramel candy. And then, and then that cake thing. That I totally forgot. Oh, and did we do this? I think so. And the little marshmallow chocolate. So, we're going to figure out... What we like and what we don't like. All right, Jared. Your best snack. Best snack. Go shoot. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Second best. <laughs> I don't know. I just like salty stuff more than sweet stuff to me. Me too, but sometimes I like crave a sweet thing. I think I like sweets better more. I don't, I don't know. All right. The worst. Um, out of all of it, I'd probably say this, this. This. The worst. The weirdest. Can I say this again for the yeah. weirdest? It is really weird. But also, the caramel was a little weird. Because it had that, like, gooey inside. Terry, you just shake the camera. 
do calm down. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it. That is our Universal Yum Box. If you want to see more of these, let us know down below. If you want Jared to come on here still, let him know. <laughs> if not, I can bring somebody else. My brother would, like, love to be on here. He keeps on begging me to do one with him. I know. My brother but, wants to collab with me, but... But also, every time I think you have, he's like, no, 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 no. I know. He just never wants to come over after, like, oh, yeah, let's do it. So, I'm calling him out. <laughs> when I get the next Yum Box, I don't know if I'm getting next month. I might do March. I did skip month February. You can always have CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Our future brother-in-law. <laughs> He'll be like... <laughs> <My shit. laughs> He'll be fun. But yeah, so... Whoever you want me to do it with, if you want Mama, because everybody loves Mama on, the, on this channel. Like... Everybody, like, Mama cracks them up. So, if you want Mama to be on here, definitely would do that. But, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if y'all are enjoying it. And be sure to subscribe and like for more videos. If you want to go and join Jared whenever he does Gundams, you can. If not, then, you know, that's fine. I won't link his stuff down below if you don't want me to. <laughs> anyways, see you guys later. Bye. Say bye, Jared. Bye.